please get ready for a dictation of exercise number 15 from progressive magazine of july 2022 5 seconds start we have gathered here today to observe international literacy day 1998 this is an occasion when we reaffirm our commitment to making every indian literate we do so today by joining governments and citizens across the world in a spirit of collaborative partnership to rededicate ourselves to the cause of universal literacy and lifelong learning september 5 is a day of affirmation and action both nationally and internationally to create a fully literate planetary population in the early years of the 21st century literacy is a fundamental human right of every citizen it is the lamp that lights the path of knowledge and progress in a person's life it also enables every citizen to make their full contribution to the progress of the nation and the human race for us in india international literacy day sends a far more urgent message india has the largest number of non literate people in the world about a third of the world total of around 900 million this reality is unacceptable to any sensitive and patriotic indian it is antidote to the fact that india is the land of the world's oldest living civilization which has always worshiped knowledge and learning it is also totally incompatible with the determination of today's resurgent india to emerge as a strong prosperous and self confident nation claiming its rightful place in the world community we recognize that a country full by millions of illiterate citizens would be intrinsically less equipped to cope with the challenges and opportunities of an intensely competitive world in order to live and thrive in a knowledge driven era we must create a nation of fully literate citizens at the same time i wish to dispel a misconception that often clouds some people's understanding of the problem of illiteracy in india many of our fellow citizens may be non literate but they are by no means devoid of education our non literate brethren among tribal dalit and obc communities are repositories of amazing knowledge and practical skills acquired through tradition based or occupation based self learning this is also true about our non literate women who apart from possessing a lot of useful knowledge also pass on precious cultural and ethical values from generation to generation i say this not to be little the importance of literacy or the urgent need to eradicate illiteracy but to understand our existing knowledge our literacy programs have the best chance of succeeding when they are based in the soil of people's actual experiences and aspirations we should also bear in mind that economic development is not an automatic guarantor 
of literacy and education. This is evident from the fact that even a rich nation like the United States of America has as many as 40 million people who lack the reading and writing skills. This surprising fact suggests that developing countries like India must evolve literacy and education programs that conform to our own needs, resources and traditions. My government is committed to according the highest priority to eradication of illiteracy. We have pledged in the national agenda for governance that we shall seek to provide education for all. At the same time, I wish to restate a truth which has so far been inadequately understood that removal of illiteracy cannot be accomplished by the efforts of the central and state governments alone, much less by any single ministry or department in New Delhi or in state capitals. It demands the collective and coordinated participation of all sections of society, governmental agencies, non-governmental organizations, religious and cultural establishments, student and youth organizations, business community and the media. In short, a sustained mass movement alone can take India towards the goal of total literacy in the shortest period of time. In this context, I am pleased to acknowledge the good work done by the National Literacy Mission since its inception in 1988. The country has gained valuable experience from the total literacy campaigns launched in the early 90s. For the first time since independence, a planned, coordinated and comprehensive district level drive was launched with the involvement of central and state governments, Zilla Parishads, Panchayats, voluntary organizations and educational establishments. Through massive participative mass campaigns of total literacy, we have been able to make over 68 million people literate, 60% of whom are women. As many as 234 districts have completed the first phase of basic literacy to adults in the age group of 15 to 35 and are now implementing post-literacy and continuing education programs. A large number of districts, beginning with Ernakulam in Kerala, have declared themselves total literacy districts. The positive developmental fallout of successful total literacy campaigns is already visible in many parts of the country. There has been an increase in the demand for primary education, particularly among girls. A significant improvement is visible in practices of family welfare, health, hygiene and immunization, leading to a lowering of the infant and maternal mortality rate, greater awareness about the environment and better agricultural practices. Stop.